Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back uh, to episode three of our Windcraft adventures. So, in this episode, um, I'm not really entirely sure what we have planned. As you can see, everything looks just a tiny bit more different. I uh, found out with this mod pack, you can have custom elytra and capes. So, I have these awesome fucking edgy wings that go very well with my character. Um, and also, shaders are staying on. I installed some different ones, and I hope they look a ton better. But we're going to start out by going over here, and we're going to do this quest called The Mushroom Man. I still need to research more on what kind of skill points I should be going for as an assassin. G Hi, what a coincidence. I actually need you. Yes. You see, um, I am out of red mushrooms. Yes, I need them. Mushrooms. I have a title to keep. Mushroom. I I can't be called the Mushroom Man if I don't have any mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms. Take this and get me some. Just click the logs with mushrooms on them. What are you looking at? G get me like one red mushroom and one brown mushroom or something. There's one right under the big blue shiny shroom. Okay, so we have to get... We have one red, one brown. Nice. Okay, perfect. Okay, Mushroom Man here. Oh, it's you. What? I can't just have one. I'm, I'm pretty sure I need a few, few more than that. Yes, I do. I remember. Mushrooms. I'll still take what you have as pittance for your horrible job. Care to fix your m mistake? Mushrooms. Get me three brown mushrooms and three red mushrooms. Thanks. You have to search the forest for more logs. Okay, that's easy. We're probably going to have to collect even more mushrooms because this guy's crazy. Okay, Mushroom Man. You again? Oh, you have the mushrooms. Good. Mushrooms. This guy's fucking weird. Well, I, I can't make any soup without my bowl. <laughs> you are good at what you do. Can you get me one bowl? Okay, how do I get that? There's a village hidden in the southwestern part of the forest. I, I remember they sell these. Mushroom? No, bowls. They sell bowls. So, I have to go southwestern part. Are you kidding me? I'm going to travel across the entire forest for you? Fuck you, guy. Okay, we are here at Nivla Village. There's a bull merchant. One emerald. Nice. <laughs> hey, they expect you to find it. <laughs> um, I still needed to bring me uh, spoons to eat my soup. Oh, wait. I already have some spoons. I guess I'll need to pay you now. Is two emeralds fine with you? Alright. Well, we finished that quest. So, we leveled up. Got two more skill points. Um, might put them in defense. Just to get that up. Okay. What quests now do we have? So, we have level four, three, fourteen 3, 14 quests. Nice. Sorry for this voiceover, but during the time of recording, I did get interrupted, and so I didn't tell you exactly where I was going to go and what I was going to do, so I'll tell you that now. I uh, looked at my quest log, I saw a level 14 quest, which is the level that we are now, and I am going to do this quest called Arachnid's Ascent. It's right next to a mountain, or volcano, and uh, yeah. Okay, so this quest, uh, I, I have done... Uh, I have this quest I have done. I helped my friend run through it. At ease, soldier. Good timing. We need more man manpower. Nivola Forest has always been plagued by spider vermin. Thousands of them. However, the tides are about to turn. We found their nest. If we can kill the queen, we can control the population. As you can see, though, we're having problems getting past this wall. By far, the easiest way would be with lava. Fire or magic seems to do nothing. So I've got a mission for you, soldier. Head to the top of Mount Wynn, the nearby volcano, and return with lava. Don't worry, it's been dormant for hundreds of years. Now take this bucket and get moving. That cave behind you leads right up. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, so we are in a cave in Mount Wynn. Ah, there's spiders. Level 16 here. Oh, what the fuck. Ow. Do like the mobility of this class. It's a lot. 
Uh, it's, it's a bit easier than a uh, mage, because all mage does is teleport. What the heck is this? Do I have to jump on those? Why is it so low? Oh. I'm so confused. I didn't fail! What? What the fuck? It, it, what the fuck was that? It was one of the stupidest glitches. I've done this parkour before. Of course I fell. Because I can't fucking see with these goddamn shaders. Ah, alright, good. Okay, let's collect some of this fucking lava. Okay. And let's go back. Okay. Well, Captain Enduin. Ah, perfect. Now give me that bucket. Seems like you've got a real knack for spider killing. Would you be willing to tackle the queen? I'll keep dealing with the rest of the spiders in the forest. Stand clear. I'm about to burn down the webs. Here we go. Head on and finish these pests. Arachnids Ascent. So we got XP and access to this dungeon. Yep, there's the key collector. Alright, well, let's do this dungeon. It's a level 18 dungeon. Fuck it. Play. Okay, so get 26 of these fucking things. Oh, you know what? This might be a bit more difficult than I had originally thought. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so we didn't we didn't finish that. Um Yeah, we are very undergeared. We are very undergeared for this. We gotta be level eighteen. One major thing that I forgot to go over in this video, whenever I died, was this. In the bottom right of my hotbar, you will see these little like kind of eye thingies those are called soul points and every time you die you will lose two soul points you will then respawn with your inventory in the closest major city or if you died in a dungeon you will spawn outside the dungeon and uh you will only respawn in the cities that you've visited at least once before you will also you lose one soul point when using a teleport scroll to teleport to a city we will get into those way later down in further episodes. When using the slash kill command, let's say if you're stuck and you already use it, you will lose two soul points as well. Creating and or leaving a guild will remove three soul points. If your soul points reach zero, i.e. you die when you only have one or two soul points, you will still drop some of your items with an increased chance. You will then respawn in the nearest city which you have visited. For only 20 seconds, you will be able to pick up your dropped items, but due to chunk loading glitches, they may most likely despawn immediately. It will drop items every time you die now. As you lose soul points, the chances of you dropping more valuable items are increased. The following table shows the drop percentages of items. So, uh, looking at the table, you can see all the percentages of uh, stuff that you would drop. Uh, how many soul points you can get. The maximum amount of soul points as well depends on your level. Level 1 to 14, you have 10. 15 to 29, you have 11. 30 to 44, you get 12. 45 to 59, 13. 60 to 74, 14. And 75 to 106, 15 soul points. Gaining soul points, you will get one soul point at the dawn of each Minecraft day. 20 minutes per day-night cycle for only, so only 40 minutes. You can also gain soul points while not being while being offline. So if you were to just log out, um, every hour you gain one soul point. So it's nothing to really worry about. Just be careful and do not let your soul points get too low. So we lost that key since we died. Uh, we have to go find another one. Although I do have another one in my bank because there are mobs that will spawn outside of dungeons that you can kill and they will be it'll say the title of the dungeon so it would be infested 
pit key guardian and when you kill them they will drop a key let's say you're in a party and you and your friend kill them one for you one for your friend underwater talk to omango located at the north of maltic okay so this guy right here uh i've already done this quest many 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 years ago and before we even do that we have to get some items and uh those items are a bit difficult to get Okay, so this Omango guy, he wants us to get a diving helmet. But before we do that, we have to get three, uh, I believe it's three zombie pigment flesh and Bob's tear. So, I'm not exactly sure how to get the Bob's tear. I have it on my other character, but I don't know if I want to do that. I can probably just look it up and get it. Okay, we are here back in Ragney. And from Ragney, so... We need to go down here into the pigmen's ravines so that will be south okay so we have one pigmen's meat we just need two more okay so we are already good okay so we got the three pigmen's meat and uh whoo that's a level 16 to 20. This is for the helmet. Oh yeah, we're def that, that's a level 1 helmet. We're definitely going to use that. Definitely going to identify that later. Yeah, we have pigments meat here as well. Um, see, this is the breathing helmet 2, but we need a breathing helmet 1. I do not. Ow. Oh, hi, Bob. Ow! <laughs> okay, well... There's that Bob's tier that we needed. <laughs> okay, so that's that's solved. So now we just need to follow this and go up and do that quest. So I will meet you there. I'm not actually sure why I thought it was a Bob's tier that was needed. It's actually one milk, and I also have that in my bank. But I believe I was doing a quest on my mage around this time. And I needed one Bob, one Bob's tier, and I think that's how I got confused. But all you need is three pigments meat and one milk, and we are here. Oh, chest right there. Okay, we are at the Maltic coast. So here's Omengo. Hi, my name is Omengo. I'm a resident of the Maltic village on top of the hill. As you know, our people come came to your land years ago, and this is the ship they used. They brought lots of luxurious goods with them. Most of them got lost in the wreck. But recently, this hole you can see has been opened. It is believed that fortune is hidden beneath the waves. Unfortunately, nobody has been able to explore this hole. It is too deep. No creature can survive underwater that long. My old friend Sayer is a fisherman, and I know that he is a very special helmet. If you can get your hand on this helmet and find the treasure, I'll give you part of it. Sarah is probably fishing close by on his boat. Talk to him. He can help us. He's not short of a kind heart. When you finally have the helmet, explore the ship and bring me back four ancient treasure. Good luck. Okay, so he's up here on his little fishing boat. Okay, so we got to talk to this guy about the breathing cap. Are you fucking kidding me? It's a fucking... It's a... Why are you balding? You're like fucking two years old. He is the biggest ship around and he's fucking tiny. Okay. Why are you looking at me like that? Is it because I'm small, eh? I'll let you know I caught fish that were twice your size. But why did you hop in my boat, stranger? Ah ha ha! Yes, I still have that useless breathing helmet. You want it? You have to do something for me first. You see, I've been fishing for the last three days. It is going so well. I don't want to go back to Menemrak to buy food. Give me something to eat and drink. Three pigments meat and one milk will suffice. I'm a growing man. I need sustenance. The helmet will be all yours after that. Okay, so it wasn't Bob's tear. It's milk. And I completely... I don't know why I thought it was a Bob's tier. I really don't. I think I got it confused with a different quest. So we do have the pigments meat. All that we got to do is go to Nemract. Go to right here, one of the emerald merchants. And I have that milk in my uh, in my bag. 
Okay, we are now in Nimrak. Nimrak is an underdefended, rough, seafaring city. People here have endured a lot of suffering, and that has made them hardy. Okay, and here we are at the bank. We will be in Nimrak soon enough. It's like a level 25 area, I believe. This is a level 20 area, so we will be here soon. Okay, so we got the milk. Now let's head back to that tiny fucking small guy. Okay, we're here. Ah, welcome back. Have you got the food and drink? Great, here's your helmet. Have fun with that. Okay, so we have the helmet. Now we just need to head back right there. Okay, and we're back. So let's take off our awesome bandana. Put on this breathing cap. So we are looking for treasure. I'm not seeing anything yet. Oh, go even lower. Let's get some air. The oh, it's over here. I go this way. And yeah, this is a fucking obstacle course for the water. <laughs> this is really annoying. Especially when you swim right past something, it slows you down. Oh god. We're gonna make it out of here. Okay. Ah, here we are. Damaged crate. old piece eight pieces of old treasure all right you're back here's your treasure old man so we got 550 emerald points 32 or experience points 32 emeralds one breathing helmet one treasure boots and one old treasure I could use this old treasure right here for my jeweling on my mage perfect Oh, there was a town right here. Maltic. That's an item identifier. Perfect. We need them. So we need to identify this helmet that we want to use. I got interrupted after this, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and comment. I love reading your guys' comments. Really, they are very inspiring. So keep them... Keep them coming, seriously. Uh, episode 4 will take a bit of time. Uh, this episode actually took a lot longer to make and come out because I'm at college right now. So that will definitely set a halt on the videos, which I do apologize for, but I will still keep making them. This will not stop me whatsoever. I love making videos, and I will continue to do so till I die. <laughs> So, uh, again, thank you guys so much for the support. It means the world. And uh, see you guys later. Adios.